Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't done a trailer reaction in a little bit. I haven't posted a lot, uh, but I'm back and I'm here with a trailer reaction. And today we are looking at Jurassic World Dominion. Yeah, we're back with the dinosaurs and the monsters. So without further ado, I'm gonna get right to it. But before I do, I just wanna let you know to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Let's get me back in this algorithm, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah. That's about it. Here we go. I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Something that was real. Something that we could see and touch. Creation is an act of sheer will. Life will find a way. can't keep her here forever. If they find her, we're never gonna see her again. We gotta protect her, that's our job. Humans and dinosaurs can't coexist. We created an ecological disaster. Ellie Sattler. Alan Grant. You didn't come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? You coming or what? We're racing toward the extinction of our species. We not only lack dominion over nature, we're subordinate to it. Come back. I always come back. That's another plane, right? Not exactly. Why do they always have to go bigger? All right, all right, all right. That was Jurassic World Dominion. I'm ready for it. Y'all ready for it? Let's talk about the OGs, Sam Neill, Laura Dern, Jeff Goldblum, like they're coming back. And I forget the other guy, the doctor. Can't remember his name, but anyway, they're back and they're gonna meet up with the people uh, from Jurassic World, which uh, Chris Pratt and the redhead, I always forget her name. I'm bad with names, don't mind me. At first I was like, mm, I don't know, another Jurassic movie, another cash grab. You know, Hollywood's been doing a nostalgia thing, but what I noticed here is feels a little bit more sincere than just a cash grab because now it's the stakes are a little higher the dinosaurs are roaming with her with us they're you know running with the horses t-rex show up at the movie theater like i thought the drive-ins was closed y'all got movie thought y'all was at the megaplexes but y'all let the drive-in so i'm ready um excited because i remember in jurassic part two, whatever, when, you know, the dinosaurs, the T-Rex was here. So now all the dinosaurs are here because, of course, they saved them off that island. Now, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a geologist or archaeologist or whatever. But I do know that 
it could be a geographic shit show to have dinosaurs roaming with us, especially since they've been extinct. Now, how does that play with global warming and all the other crap we've done to the planet since they were originally around? Oh, we had the uh, raptor with the feathers, which is crazy because I saw on Google um, that velociraptors actually were closer to bird-like with feathers and different colors. Hence, you know, blue has that crazy blue color that looks more distinct than the other raptors. And what we know from like the book and the first movie is that they use DNA from reptiles and lizards and stuff to make these versions of the dinosaurs. This is not, science says that they didn't really look like they did in Jurassic Park. And the book did actually say these aren't technically dinosaurs. These are something else like dinosaurs, but these are like monsters. So it looks like they are... I don't want to say evolving, but they are evolving to be like what they originally were since we see the dino with the with the feathers and stuff. So that is pretty cool because you notice that their feet are always more like not like alligators and lizards and stuff like that. They look more like talons. So if that is the case. And I think they did explore that. Sam, you know, his character had the velociraptor talon. So, you know, it does act more bird like in the way that it you know, function. So maybe they are reverting back to the way they used to be. Well, at least he is. And then we saw the brontosaurus showing up at the, you know, what they looking at him. And that reminds me of the Flintstones. You know how a Fred Flintstone works in the construction site and they got the brontosaurus carrying all the stuff. So that just, you know, humans going to humans. So who knows? Are they going to try to integrate with them? Are they going to get rid of them? How is that going to play? In the beginning, it did say conclusion, so I don't know if they're going to conclude the whole Jurassic series, which we know Hollywood can't conclude nothing. They they run out of ideas. They go and regurgitate some old stuff. They either rebooting it, redoing it, sequeling it, requel, whatever you want to call it, these, these words, prequels, all types of stuff. So they always continue these ideas that were awesome in the 90s and early 2000s, so maybe, maybe... They're not concluding it, but if it is a conclusion, I don't know if it's concluding Jurassic World, like we concluded Jurassic Park, and then we're going to have Jurassic, just Jurassic. I don't know. But another cool thing, we saw that uh, dinosaur, I forget what kind of dinosaur it was, you know, with the, the things that came out and then it squirted the, the ink stuff. We saw him, so he's making a comeback because he was dangerous. The raptors were dangerous, but he was really dangerous because he killed homie from um, Seinfeld. I can't remember his name, but you know what I'm talking about. So I am curious to see, like I said, how these dinosaurs are going to integrate. How are they going to function? How is this going to really take a toll on our planet per se? And if you know anything science-y, please feel free to correct me because I don't know. You know, these movies, sometimes they could be far-fetched. Driving is what I do. But a lot of times they can be really close to the truth. What did you guys think of Jurassic World Dominion? Are you hyped for it? Are you stoked? Are you going to see it? Do you like it? You think the trailer is doing too much, not doing enough? Whatever. Are you a fan of the Jurassic series? Or are you not? Time will tell. June, I will be seeing it. Um, I'm sure we're going to get more in-depth trailers between now and June. But if not, I'm going to be ready for it. I got some predictions. But um, I hopefully they don't kill anybody from the OG cast. Something tell me Jeff will go blum. Because he just seems like he might be over it. I don't know. But regardless of such, leave your comments down in the comment section. Because where else are you going to leave them? Do you like it? you love it? Are you hyped for it? Are you uh, over it? Like, I wasn't even going to do this trailer reaction. I First of all, I wasn't even, it wasn't on my radar. But my homie was like, you see Jurassic World uh, trailer? I was like, no. He was like. I did a reaction to it. Speaking of which, that was my homie, Rome. Check out his podcast, To The Reviews. He does reviews, commentary, reactions, all of that, and is really, really dope. So check him out. He's streaming on Spotify and other different podcasts, um, wherever podcasts are available. And he also has a group on Facebook called The Cinemaniacs. And if you are a fan of film or anything like that, please check that group out if you're on Facebook. Definitely a dope dude. And his content is though we do just disagree on some movies sometimes, but for the most part, he nails it right on the head. Speaking of podcasts, make sure you check out the Single Chronicles because that's back. Yeah, Single Chronicles totally back. Again, let me know what you think. 
got the OGs. And I'm ho I'm wondering if Chris Pratt and Sam Neill, I'm just the, they're they they gonna butt heads at some point. You remember how he butted heads with uh with Thor in Avengers? It just somehow seems like that's gonna happen. Like I'm in charge. No, I'm in charge. So yeah, I'm definitely ready to see where they're gonna go with this franchise if it's gonna conclude conclude like epically. Hoping it doesn't let me down because sometimes these trailers be like, <gasps> and then you get to the movie theater and it's like. Make sure you tune in again. Stay, hit that bell to be notified for future videos. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share these videos. Let's get me back in the algorithm, like I said. And I'm going to be out of here. So that's all I got to say about this. I'm about to get off. I'm tired, ready to go to bed. This thing is late as is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be awesome, be you. But above all else, love yourself. All right, guys.